I believe that Jeffrey Marsh is one of the most dangerous and evil people. I wish you peace. I really do. See, this bothers me for a different reason than you might assume. And it's not because I'm a lesbian and because I think Jeffrey is just insanely creepy, but it is because I am a spiritual person and I can't stand the fact that Jeffrey is using spirituality as sort of a, I'm on a better level, I'm on a higher level than you. The, the whole I hope you find peace statement is nice, but where is it coming from? Which source? One of the beautiful things about being trans is that it has taught me perseverance and hating your way through life is not a recipe for perseverance and it's also not what you as a human being deserve and that addiction to hate you know you, it feels really good to hate me and then that craving starts again because at least where i'm standing it is coming from an extremely narcissistic place or at the very least a victimized state of mind neither are very spiritual of you jeffrey and i don't think people hate you i think people hate the rhetoric you're spewing they're worried because they sense controlling and manipulation tactics behind all of this and again the whole all these other people need to find peace they are all beneath me it's just reeking <laughs> reeking of i'm a better person than you let's not do that Okay? I don't like it. It doesn't actually hit the mark. I wish you detox. I truly do wish you peace. Not everyone who disagrees with you is not at peace. People have different beliefs and again, to say that they hate you for disagreeing with you is a bit dramatic, self-centered, and narcissistic. Next story. <laughs> Florida Gate Nude Resort can't ban women judge rules. This is at the New Orleans house in Key West. It is a clothing optional Florida resort catering to gay and bisexual men must open all areas to women according to a ruling from a judge on the Florida Commission on Human relations. It is not official just yet and this is a few months old but it just came across my timeline now so I wanted to talk about it. Here's where we're at. The resort is one of at least two nude resorts challenged by this woman, a 30 year old cisgender woman who identifies as part of the LGBTQ community. She also filed a complaint against Key West's Island House Resort claiming that she wasn't allowed to rent a room there because she doesn't identify as male. First, it was always just males only, right? It's a dude place for dicks. Dudes and dicks. <laughs> dicks everywhere. Then it was, well, you at least have to present yourself and identify as a man. Now, here we are. People simply taking advantage of such a small minority specific group space for that specific group of people and having the balls to say it's discrimination? Honey, it is not discrimination. It is separation. And sometimes discrimination or separation is a good thing. And you know what? It seems like the gays are finally gonna get a taste of all this. The lesbians have been warning them for years. Honestly, just imagine for a second, and this is a real life situation that happened to me. Imagine two dudes, two gay dudes, in some bushes. This happened to me. I, I did see it happen outside in Fire Island. And two random women just, you know, walking along, creepily watching them, making them feel uncomfortable. I mean, it's also not okay that dudes are like in the bushes, but like everybody needs their space, right? This is what is coming for us all. We should all be allowed to have spaces for ourselves. Many LGBs do not think that they will be affected by this self ID ideology, but it will come for you. Whether it is a woman that doesn't want to wax balls in Canada or a gay resort based on biological sex in Florida, nothing is sacred and they will use the flawed legal system to shut you down. It gets worse. Career conference for females in tech was taken over by male attendees. They were there just purely for the career fair. Social media clips filmed at the Grace Hopper, the world's largest gathering of women technologists, show men standing in line to meet with recruiters. This is a space for women in tech. This is one of those few limited resources that isn't for you, it's for us. Straight up dudes attending a women in tech conference. How did they get away with it, you might ask? Well, they identified as non-binary. Some of the male attendees reportedly lied about being non-binary just to get in. But it's interesting that the large majority of the people that actually ended up in the event had name tags with he, him and have no searchable history of identifying as non-binary. Several tech workers defended the men for trying to capitalize on job opportunities not meant for them, 
seeing that the entire concept was wrong. Oh, okay, 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 I see why they did it. Not because they were trying to take advantage, but because they felt that having a woman-only event was unfair and was sexist. That people shouldn't be hired according just to their sex. Well, I mean, I kind of agree, but at the same time, we should still be allowed to have our separate spaces. If someone is simply hiring or not hiring somebody because, strictly because of their sex, I agree, I think that is wrong and sexist. In most cases, I mean, there are certain things that males can do that females else cannot. Let's be real. But I am sure that there are issues that women face in the workplace and issues that men face in the workplace or wherever and they deserve a space to talk about it. They deserve a space to network. Here's how to use pumpkin spice pronouns and sentences. Oh, oh wait, it's not pumpkin spice together. So it'd be like a separation. So you can either use pumpkin or spice pronouns. It would look like this in two different categories. You can use either set. Sometimes it depends on the day. Sometimes you're just trying things out over it. Job seekers with non-binary gender pronouns on their resumes are less likely to be contacted by employers. Oh my god, look at all these. This is all within the last seven, eight months, all of these studies. Gee, I wonder why. I mean, could it possibly be because of people like this? It's part of the curriculum in my class. So it's something you want to personally teach us? Yes, out of respect from... for myself as well. The same way that I identify you guys as your pronouns, I would expect the same respect for my pronouns. Well, yes, I'm, back. Okay. Does Principal Johnson know that that you're teaching us this? Like, does Principal Johnson use your proper pronouns? Um, you know, I don't believe I've had too many conversations with Principal Johnson, but as far as I'm concerned, I haven't had any issues. Uh, I thought Principal Johnson was your boss. Right. So we just go through email, and he would identify me as teacher Darren. He he called you that? Yes. Okay. I don't this is crazy. Yeah. So, so question, like which bathroom do you use? The teacher's bathroom. People are over this shit, just like they are very, very much over grown ass men taking the spots of female characters at Disney. This isn't the 1600s anymore. This is not Shakespeare times. Women can play their own parts. Segue right into the next story because it just is very fitting. Dylan Mulvaney wins Woman of the Year by Attitude Magazine and Virgin Atlantic Airlines. I asked you guys on Twitter if you were upset about it, and I didn't think as many people would have been as there were, but now that I know, I'm glad I talked about it in this video. <laughs> At this point, it's just so comical, I honestly don't really even pay attention to Attitude Magazine, and I don't fly Virgin Atlantic, so I don't really care. It is kind of just obnoxious and in your face at this point, but like, there are worse things happening in the world at the moment, so. I did, however, do two Rumble live streams last week that I think are very, very good, and if you are upset or if you just want to laugh, you can go and check those out. I'll have the link in the description below. Here is a little snippet from one of those streams. When you're, when you're picturing this, do you still always picture yourself like as a guy, or was that something that you did more as a kid? I inhabit a man's body. I don't actually picture myself. Like I don't see my face. The women don't necessarily have faces either. So like sometimes, sometimes she's Asian, sometimes she's Latina, sometimes she's African. It's, it's much more just about the act than it is the specific people involved and all that. Right. And, and and you never, you never picture yourself as a guy with another guy, right? It's a specific fantasy. No, I being with a girl. Oh, you do. I, and I've started to do that. Interesting. When did you realize that this was a turn on for you? I guess maybe is a better word, better way of saying it. Um, I probably realized, I think it was all pretty innocuous until I was probably about 14 or 15 and I started getting into s and Yeah, that's probably, when I was a teenager was probably the first when I connected all of those pieces. But I, I mean, I can look back on my life and I can see signs when I was in the first grade. It, and I, I would masturbate like I was describing, like face down and on my bed with this. You when know, you were seven. Yeah, when I was like six and seven. Yeah. Six and seven. Interesting. Yeah, like that's when it started. Like I was like the chronic masturbator. <laughs> I, I didn't. And I actually, I to this day, I will not use my fingers to masturbate. I've never. I hate it. I hate touching my own vagina. Hate it. I will like, I, I, or I, I would when I was younger, I would masturbate uh, face down. And I would hold, like, it, I would be in my bed. I would have my pillow, which is normally, you know, this way. And I would hold it, you know, or underneath me, the lengthwise. Right, like it was so, a like, or something. 
Yeah, so it would almost be like a person was under me. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Other than that, I will see you guys back here in a few days, back here next Sunday, actually, with a brand new video. If you don't subscribe to me, make sure you do, and make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, because I post a whole bunch of other content there as well that's never posted on here, and uh, I just honestly just love to everybody.